Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome to this beautiful Saturday. It is about 61 degrees, sunny. It's just, it's just the perfect spring day. And uh, today we are going to take the next step in our spring setup. So, so far we have turned on our irrigation. We have put down some pre-emergent to make sure that we mitigate all the spring weeds and the early summer weeds. And then the last thing, the most recent thing that we did was to put down some grub X in order to kill the grubs, which helps to protect our grass from the grubs eating the roots to our grass. But it also has the added benefit of deterring critters like armadillos and moles from destroying our lawns and our flower beds. So today we're gonna start the next step in the spring startup of the lawn. And that is to do some lawn feeding. Typically what I do this time of the year is I put down a bunch of nitrogen and Yard Mastery actually has some new fertilizers that I was gonna try. I originally started with one product which was really nitrogen rich and then I watched Alan Hain on one of his videos as the lawn care nut and he made a lot of sense as to why not to start off with such a heavy dose of nitrogen. So I ordered a second one. So let me show you what those look like real quick. Here are the two products that I'm gonna be using this year in the lawn. Typically, I would start off with something that's like this flagship product. And the three numbers here, they represent your NPK, which is your nitrogen, phosphorus, and your potassium. And the reason why I normally go with this is because once you come out of winter, you're pretty much at a zero or close to zero in nitrogen. So I want to sit there and feed the lawn and start pushing some of that nitrogen into the lawn. However, after watching Alan Hain talk about it as the lawn care nut on one of his videos, and I'll link that video up above in the eye, but after watching one of his videos, one of the things that he said was that he felt like this was a better product to use in the spring. And the reason why is because you got to remember how these three numbers affect your lawn. So nitrogen, you want to think about it as you know, your, your growth, your upward growth, your greening, um, the, the leaf development, that sort of thing. The, the phosphorus is, it's more conducive towards root growth and development. And then your potassium, it is more of an overall plant development. Think about it this way. If you wake up first thing in the morning, the last thing you're going to do is just pop right out of bed and just throw down a bunch of pancakes into your system. You're going to want to wake up a little bit, drink some water. You're going to uh, probably have a cup of coffee and then as you progress throughout the morning is when you're going to start uh, packing in more of those uh, nutrient dense types of foods into your system. Well think about it that way. This is more of something that is going to be heavier on the potassium. It's more of your overall plant development and then it does have some of the nitrogen which is going to help with that deficiency but later on in the spring which will be probably about six to eight weeks i will move over to this so that i can actually start pushing more of that of that foliar development of the plant for now we're going to stick with the stress blend it's just something that's just overall going to be a much better product to start the spring off with i also tend to stay away from this number which is the phosphorus in my particular lawn if i were to do a soil test right now, I would probably guarantee that I am pretty much high in here. I'm at least in a good spot, but I'm going to be low in both of these numbers in the, both the nitrogen and the potassium. So um, I'm not doing a, a soil sample this year, which is okay because I'm not going to be here long enough for it to really matter. Um, but I do want to set up the new owners for success, which is why I'm going to do this first. Um, I may put down some of this um, or at least I'll recommend to the new homeowners that they put something down like this. It doesn't have to be the flagship. I mean, there's lots of products that are heavy on the nitrogen side, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer into the season before I start pushing heavy nitrogen. Uh, the good news about this product that I, I like so far is that it does have a lot of the of the micronutrients in here. It also pushes iron both in the stress blend and the flagship product. And so, um, you know, I'm gonna give these both a try. I mean, they look really promising. I've heard great things about them so far, and I wanna make sure that I give them a fair shake. I really like Yard Mastery and the products that they put out and the way that they approach uh, plant development and growth. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a big supporter of them as much as I possibly can, as long as they work great. But for now, we're gonna give them a try and I will let you know how it works. Oh, one more thing. Make sure that you read the bag and that you look at the application. Uh, make sure that your your lawn, it's good for your both either your, your warm or your cool season lawns. 
also pay attention to settings and make sure that you understand like what kind of a spreader that you're using and how much you should be putting down more importantly make sure that you understand the rate that you should be putting down uh, the recommended rate is three pounds per 1000 remember this does have nitrogen if you overdo it you will burn your lawn um, right now everything's dormant so i'm not too terribly worried about burning stuff but i also don't want to overdo it which is the whole reason why we're going with this blend so make sure that you understand how you're putting it down and why you're putting down the rates that you're doing and then make sure that you're not doing anything that's going to actually hurt your lawn in the process so always 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 read the label make sure you understand what you're doing to your own lawn this is just a recommendation this is how i do it in my lawn but that doesn't mean it works for everybody's lawn so let's get to it everybody well that's pretty much it that's the first feeding of the lawn for the spring we'll probably come back and do a second feeding before i leave in about six weeks at the end of april and we'll probably hit it with some more nitrogen uh, i'm going to recommend to the new homeowner that he does a soil test just to see what's deficient so that he can figure out what else he needs to be putting down and maintaining in the lawn if he so chooses to maintain it anywhere near the way that i do it i realize that I, we we go a little bit overboard and you know it's just it's the reason why i do things i just like Keep my grass green i like doing new projects in fact speaking of which look at the putting green it's looking pretty schmazzy i think uh unfortunately this is going to be my biggest regret was that i couldn't take the putting green to the next level um i already warned the new owners that this is not really part of the property but i use it and um you know if you do things the way i do it then you ask for forgiveness before you ask for permission and that's just the way i roll most of the time and Sometimes it bites me in the backside and sometimes I get to do fun stuff. So anyway, um, not gonna encourage anybody to do that. I'm just saying that's how I do things. If you have any questions about what's going on in the lawn or any questions about my application uh, plan for the lawn, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also email me at dino at DIYLawnshark.com. That's the website that my daughter helped me develop for Lawn Shark. Got a bunch of stuff out there. You know, we've got the latest videos, my Instagram feed. We've also got some merchandise. If you so choose to purchase some Lawn Shark gear, go out there and check it out. But um, it's uh, she did a great job with it. If you have any questions about the website development, I'm sure she'd be happy to interact with you guys and kind of tell you how she did things. But she did a really, really good job and I'm really proud of the way that that website looks. Uh, but feel free to ask me any questions down below again or email me either one works great but uh, if you like this video don't forget to uh, like it and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet and i've earned your subscription then go ahead and do that too and if you want to be notified of future videos don't forget to hit that bell and you'll know the next time something comes out hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend i hope that you're enjoying your weekend and it's as beautiful as mine and uh, we will see you on the next one. Have a good week, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.